here's a dog plant this dog plant enjoys uh, the outdoors the benefits of this dog plant is that they bring you joy they bring you happiness companionship you it's best that you consume that well fresh never leave them to dry especially do not boil them <laughs> you can soak them in water every now and then if you go to the sun to the to the sea or swim or whatever but mainly what this dog plan does is keep you company and give you lots of love so i would say this is my favorite plan <laughs> Rather than saying, we're discovering new lands, Joy and I, I should say, Joy discovered new lands and I am following him and we're discovering in the... this little one, I'm gonna miss him, oh my god, once he's gone, uh, there's not gonna be any dog left any longer at the shelter anymore, well not anymore but well, or hopefully anymore, but for now, there are not gonna be any dogs left. Sometimes you wonder, what is, what's beyond all the roads and trails and yeah, what, what's in there, you know? Well, guess what? We're in there right now and I'm liking it. <laughs> but it's very apparent because if you, like someone's been, working here and it's like interesting how you're on see that mountain i never seen that mountain from this perspective but it's like there's these fields that people work on then there's forest and beyond that forest i never imagined that there would be more fields of olive trees and you name it, I, I just assumed that there was just forest, I'm going forest, but like more like bushes that you want, don't want to be crossing. But we're having a grand old time. The only, the only thing that we're going to have to figure out is how to go back, but we're going to make a good team. <laughs> he with his nose and me, um, by using just logic, if we're going uphill and we come from downhill, you best believe that if we go downhill, we're going to find the, find the way out. <laughs> because, uh, well, playing with joy and you name it, I didn't pay much attention to the route that I was taking. This is very rookie of me because I always, whenever I go someplace new, I always pay attention to the route that I take just to go back in this, the same way I came. But today, I didn't. But it, I think... We're not gonna get lost. We're not. We're not gonna get lost. Are we gonna get lost? No, we're not. He's having the time of his life. See, let me just show it to you because I never knew that up until they taught me. But this is worldwide. It's not something local. This is a an olive tree. Normal. Okay. Come here. A wild boar came here, scratched the land, uh, probably looking for a little worms and stuff to eat, and then they lay in there, and you can really see where they have laid because they are not good at concealing and they really move the land same applies with rabbits you see the scratching of a rabbit i look like a you know these people from westerns that they can read the land well when you spend a lot of time in nature you can really learn to read the land and it's like you see the scratching of a, a rabbit and the little feces next to it and he's like you are the weakest of them all in this in into in wilderness and why would you leave a trail by scratching do, do, don't scratch and poop next to it if you have to do both of them one to file your nails and the other one just to release your vowels do it separately because everyone's gonna know that the rabbit's been here and they're gonna eat you <laughs> like not just humans and <laughs> come on <laughs> yeah it's indicative like 
I'm, go I'm gonna try and find some rabbits, rabbit signature around and I'll show you because it's like, dude, you know, probably because I have had two, two bunnies, two pet bunnies, Conchi and Kaoru. I have a special, I have a soft spot, a softer spot for them. So it, I, I don't know, I, I, I wouldn't like for any, the, to me they're like friends or whatever i wouldn't like for them to be harmed it's like dude you're being so reckless you know just take care of yourself and don't allow for anyone to find out that um that you've been here you know just make it harder for them to 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 find out but then again i don't know it is what it is but we came across this little construction in here and it was like what and I'm gonna have to, today I forgot to take the scarf because it's spring, so you would think that in the springtime it's warmer. Well, it's not. And now, this while going uphill, it was a little bit warmer, like because you're moving. But now that I'm going downhill and it's windy and it's overcast, I need all the zipper, I need the zipper all the way up, actually. So this is an interesting construction because even though this construction uh, probably is newer like hundreds years ago this is the same construction same exact construction that has existed since the dawn of time you have to do this like this type of circular constructions have existed since the paleolithic is that how you say that in english so this is this is quite something needless to say i don't think this comes this dates from that Place, even though we have um, Iberian settlements in here, um, in here there are Iberian, Iberian settlements. Is the folks that were native, something. But this same thing. And if you go to Africa, you will see similar constructions that are thousands of years old. This is beautiful. I mean, it's history hidden in the middle of nowhere, but it's history nonetheless. But it's kind of cool. Now let's take a look at the f a few plants that grow around here. I, I really want to show you. Um, like if you go to the um, uh, Arborean, or how you say that, or uh, this smells so good. This is thyme. This is thyme in bloom. They always say that by Easter time is the time to pick up the thyme. Always make sure to not uh, ruin the roots because then. It's never gonna grow back. It's all over and it's this is good for your blood circulation to boost your immune immune system and yeah to treat a cold overall like they say like take it nine days straight one cup at a time and it does and it really cleanses your liver and uh, your blood overall. So this is time and this is the these are the little flowers and it create it has this almost foresty perfume scent and it's so good when you're drinking when you drink it on a tea now when you take it uh if i were to take this now i'm gonna not gonna take any because i have some at home and i don't need them i don't need it but let's just take this little one in here let's just leave this one for the bees so you take this and you put it you set it someplace dark and whatnot for it to dry and once it's dry you can drink it as a tea and it's good also is a very potent disinfectant so say you have some infection you just boil some of this and you apply it and it's really good or if you had an eye infection same thing applies for it it's so good as i told you on almost half a year ago like living here i learned about a lot about plants when i came back but there's it's like going to the pharmacy you know when you go into nature it's free it's healthier you just have to know the plant and the same plant if you go to yeah some pharmaceuticals or something like that they're gonna charge you good money, like three euros for a hundred grams of that or something. Why? <laughs> so let's try and find some more uh, medicinal herbs. Not that 
they all have their properties but there are some that it's more it's easier to recognize like well an, a medicinal leaf not a tree but leaf is the olive olive leaves uh, if you have high blood circulation high blood pressure high blood circulation what was that if you have high blood pressure you just have to once again uh, pick some olive tree leaves olive leaves how you say that and uh, how you say that is my quote, my quote of the year ever since I've been stranded here and I just speak in English with you guys. Leave them to dry. Uh, drink a cup of this for a few days. You're going to see how your blood pressure levels go down naturally without taking any chemicals that harm your other organs of your body. So, Rosemary. Another one. Rosemary is... Uh, very good for cooking like if you're creating some roast or something if you add rosemary to it it's really let me just oh smell it let me show it to you and here's a rosemary fire. it's really it's really good to give flavor to your meals the flowers that i just discovered this through a friend of mine the flowers if you live if you eat a couple of them they say that they give you this boost of energy i'm just gonna have one because she told me that once she had five um five rosemary flowers and she was hyper so nobody needs to be hyper but i sure could use some of that so you just chew it and apparently it wakes you up anywho uh beyond that rosemary that i didn't know now joy is like hello joy we're talking about rosemary to the people anyway beyond that is like if you have a cold, this tastes this tastes tastes like hell. If you dry it and boil it and you drink it, like uh, almost this in lavender tastes like perfume cologne. But it's very good to fight a cold. So now here comes the herb of the witches. Whilst um, let's just protect this rosemary flower whilst rosemary uh, smells very good fragrant this uh, you're gonna if you come across um, root the name of it it's root um, you're gonna find it creates it blooms when it blooms it creates this yellowish flowers but it's just very short-lived so it's the small leaves and you're gonna recognize them because when you rub your fingers through it they have this super potent smell like it is pungent now Joy is like, okay, whatever, woman, while you do there, you do your botanical class, I'm laying here on the wild boar's bed, you do your thing. <laughs> so this plant, um, some believe said that if you put, um, if you take some of it, uh, let's just take a little spot of it. If you take some of it and you put it, on your front door inside it's going to protect you from evil and all this kind of thing i don't know about that uh certainly up until uh, 70 80 years ago but now we're going out of focus they would use this plant so beware do not drink this uh because they would use this plant as an abortion mech method like somebody got pregnant they wouldn't want to be pregnant they just created a tea with this. It's not gonna kill you, but it killed the fetus. So this is dangerous. So, so beware of that. Not all plants are good. So you have to know the ones that have some other powers that, yeah. And not everybody can touch them. Some people are highly allergic to it and they really can go to the ER after touching this, but beware of that plant. This uh, round leaves, it means that this is a carob tree so if you pick up the pots i'm gonna try and find some um they are very good for your digestive tract they taste a little bit like chocolate and if you have um yeah here's the the newer pods but you know what a carob is and it's very good for yeah your digestive tract and Basically, if you have the runs, if you have, and basically, if you have um, a little bit of a way to lose problem, let's put it this way, diarrhea, I didn't say that, um, just eat some. <laughs> it's going to stop it. 
enters a pine. Of course, not this one. Way too big. Oh, look. Let's just show you. And these are the carrots that I'm telling you about. And what they do, the big pharma and whatnot with this is that there are this, if I can break it properly, there's this, this they use for um, dry food for animals to create uh, food for us humans. It's an astringent and there are pots that come inside it. The little um, seeds, if you, the, the little seeds, if you will, they use that to create uh, the kind of cellulose to create, um, yeah, pills. How you say that? The ones that they come in that bullet that it's closed. Well, it's made of this, of carib, carib pits. I don't know how you say it, but you get me, right? It's way too early for me. Now he's eating carib. Finally, something worth. <laughs> Now, what you hear in what you're seeing here, that you're seeing nothing, this dry plant, this dry ends. Now we're focusing. This is lavender. It hasn't bloomed yet. This is older lavender. Here you can see the greener sprouts is gonna grow, grow once again. And lavender, it's good for, to create perfume. Once again, if you infuse it, it's good for your cold. And so is pine. So if you take some pine leaves, and it's always the same process. You let them dry, make sure it's something that's not treated with pesticides or whatever. Like this one is the middle of in nature. Don't take this. Like you take the leaves and uh, you create a tea with it. And it's good if you have the flu or some cold. So now with COVID, it might be helpful. There you have it. So that's it, you guys. Um, basically, it's all that there is to show you and say around here. Nowadays, with I don't know, I, I find that it's interesting somehow. Um, you know, you live, you learn. There's things that you wouldn't learn, or I wouldn't have certainly, I, certainly I wouldn't have learned had an I been had an I been stranded here. And now I know them, and I think I like it. I know I, I enjoy uh, getting to know new things so hopefully you do too or maybe you already know them and it's like okay i already knew well i didn't up until i discovered them and it's kind of neat anywho thank you for being here love you see you bye